Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the number one spot for Looney Tunes World of Mayhem information. I am Mr. 901, an official maestro of content for Looney Tunes World of Mayhem, and we've got a new hawk on the horizon. The blog post for the upcoming events has just been released, and we're going to go over that right now. All right, so we've got the blog post from the official Looney Tunes World of Mayhem website, and we're going to go through the events going all the way through to September 3rd. You see them right there right now. We are all about some aristocrats, and we're going to skip past the actual calendar here. We do have Toonie Loon, Space WB, City in Tasmania from August 23rd through 29th, and then Forest Farm in Avalone from August 30th to September the 5th. Uh, right now, we are on the tail end, the last day, if you will, leading up to reset tomorrow for counting on the Countess. I hope everybody's able to unlock Countess. It looks like she's going to be super, super stout uh, on that team and as a tank in general. Also, it looks like she's got some super importance in war, so I hope everybody unlocked her. Congratulations to anybody who has, and if you have, let me know where you were able to rank her up to in the comments down below, but that's... Uh, we're on the last leg of that right now, and we also today have the Path to Legendary Ronin Canasta from August 23rd to the 27th. If you need to know who you need for that Path to Legendary, there's two ways to do it. One, you can look in the Path to Legendary teams in-game, or you can look in the description down below. We have a Path to Legendary infographic that you can take a look at, and maybe that'll help you there. Now, I don't have any information on this as of yet, you see right down here, it says more info in uh, this event announcement. Tomorrow, August 24th, we are supposed to have a uh, town regional uh, from August 24th through 27th. I'm hoping that um, I haven't heard anything that it may be canceled or anything yet, but I just I haven't seen the blog post for it yet. And it may it's gotten me some chilly vibes from the desert event disappearing. So uh, I'll try to keep everybody updated on that if we get any information on that between now and tomorrow when the event's supposed to hit. We do have other things supposed to hit tomorrow, and we'll talk about that a little bit later in this blog post. So we'll see what happens. But that's supposed to be going from August 24th through the 27th. Uh, later that day, from the 24th through the 27th, oh yeah, they're fine. They are my divine. I love this team to pieces. Uh, divine Spotlight Guys, this may be a team that I would encourage the spending of black tickets on the wheel. Um, earlier today on stream, we did uh, about a hundred plus K punch up in arena with this team. Um, yeah, just love them from August 24th through the 27th. And we've gotten some information on our fair lady, fair lady Melissa, the event from 27th through the 30th. That's this coming Friday. Uh, it's very interesting, the, uh, the story, the lore, if you will. It says, once upon a time, there was a fair lady. She waited, locked away in the highest room of the tallest tower for her true love's first kiss. Many noble knights, romantic royals, and masked musketeers had all tried to rescue her from this dreadful prison, but none prevailed until... Come witness the unlikely love story between the new aristocrat, fair lady Melissa and the legendary Lunar Toro. That's right, I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. Um, does this mean that we're gonna have a chance at some Lunar Toro pieces? Oh, please, please let that be the case. This event's supposed to start this Friday from August 27th and run to the 30th. Uh, it is a new tune. This is this last uh, piece, for now at least, for the aristocrat team, which looks pretty good, um, just in my opinion. Uh, Fair Lady Melissa, she's an epic, the featured tunes, Lunar Toro, Grand Duke Link Sylvester Jr., Grand Duke Sylvester, Countess Penelope, Marvin the Marvelous, Athena Petunia, and Henry Horace. Now, what's cool is from the 24th to the 27th, we've got this divine spotlight. So if you're lacking a little bit on these two, and of course, you'll probably have a way to get them here. But that may be a way to uh, pop them up just a little bit if that's what you're wanting to do. But super interesting that Lunar Toro is here in this featured event tunes. He is a legendary, so we will see if we have access to him. Uh, very curious about that. And then that following Monday, August 30th through September the 3rd, one of my 
One of my favorite teams because it's just really fun. The Fiend team centers really around Monster Tweety. You can go up against teams that are Fiend teams without him and they're just not the same. That's going from August 30th to September the 3rd. Feel free to grab that Path to Legendary guide in the description below to see who you need to unlock him. And then from August 31st to September the 3rd, we've got a farm event now anybody who's been familiar with my streams knows that i love my farm guys it's a combination of hillbilly hair uh sam sheepdog ralph the wolf and um usually i will put in there um yeah uh, you know some combination of either barnyard dog or chungus believe it or not um but i do love that i can actually make a team out of the farm so um again regionals are usually where we bank our gems and golden tickets. Uh, this farm one's supposed to go from the 31st to the 3rd. And then that later that day, from the 31st to the 3rd, you will have an Imperial Spotlight. Probably, you know, there's a lot of teams hitting the game. There's a lot of teams that haven't been built up all the way, so, so people can't really see their full potential, at least not a broad spectrum of players yet. Um, but still probably at least in a top five. Uh, Imperials. Uh, really good team here. Um, I'd like to know you guys' opinion about how they switched out bugs and um, what used to be um, Captain Bly, which I still use there. Uh, but I'd like to know you guys' opinion on that. And that's going from 31st to the 3rd. And then here we go. We got a new Hawk on the horizon. Barrel Hawk Henry. And uh, as you can see here, he looks like a pirate. Yo ho, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I love the pirates. I'm, you know, is this the start of a, a pirate anti dodge team? I don't know, but let's look at it. It says, Feral Hawk Henry takes his place in the crow's nest. Little spy glass and sextant at his side, ready to navigate his crew through battle. New event, Barrel Hawk Henry, epic, other featured tunes. Now, this is something. Uh, normally, we don't get the info on a new tune this quick. Now, granted, as the, the disclaimer on this actual page says, all of its subject could be subject to change. But normally, we don't get this much info this early. And right here, feature tunes, Seagull and Sam, Cannoneer, Canasta, Marvin the Marvelous, Fireman Bugs, and Supersonic Hopper. So there's a couple of things through this entire blog post that I was noticing. A lot of the newer characters we're getting a chance at through these events lately. And then... Of course, you can kind of look at the first two characters involved sometimes and kind of figure out where this is going to fit. Are we getting a, a true pirate team? Could we get some Seagull and Sam Cannoneer Canasta, a little Barrel Hawk Henry, and maybe some Captain Bly? Hmm, I'd like to see that. I don't know if that's the case, but I wouldn't mind seeing that at all. Now, we do have one other thing that's supposed to be starting tomorrow i wanted to show you guys because we didn't go over it on the channel the race to 79 so it says we are ready to share more details about the upcoming increase to level 79 celebration event so they're going to be adding uh new brawl crates they're maxing the player and tune level to 79 from 69 they're increasing gems and gold rewards for star crates of all levels they're adding a daily gold back where you uh level up tunes from 69 to 78 you know that's a new daily goal and they're adding uh pocket mirror tasty meat and boxing gloves and unique materials to the league store in rotation so that's going to be more available uh now essentially this event we don't have a whole bunch of info on how it's going to work but essentially um you're racing to get to a milestone level, not necessarily level 69, I mean 79. Uh, why are we doing this? With the majority of our level players capped at uh, 69, the time is for the next part of the Looney Tune journey. So essentially the race to 79 event will start manana 824 tomorrow and the level cap will increase goes live 825 so we don't have a ton of information about the event itself but we do know that the level cap increase is coming let me know what you think about everything we talked about today in the comments down below
And that's what we've got for you. We've got a new Hawk on the horizon. We got a lot of information about upcoming events. We didn't get any information on the uh, regional that's supposed to happen tomorrow. Hopefully that blog post drops sometime uh, after this video does. But I wanted to get this information out for you guys so that you had it. Now, remember, guys, whenever these new tunes drop or whenever we go um, and uh, looking at new blog post information, 1 p.m. Central, every single day, we go live and you can join me at twitch.tv forward slash Mr. 901 Tommy Jacks. And um, while you're here, guys, if you haven't already done it, hit that subscribe button for me. It helps the channel out a ton. Bang that old bell so you never miss a video and, you know, throw a like on this thing while you're at it doesn't cost you a thing and uh until next time guys as the hawk flies sure um <laughs> stay loony and we're gonna catch you down the road <laughs>